What's going on everybody? Uh, it's late for me here, so I'm trying to make this little fast. Um, so, yesterday, or the day before, I can't remember, um, I posted part 5 of my process of getting a New Jersey carry permit. In which I talked about my references being called and the detectives calling my job and talking to my boss. So, like I said in that video, only two of the three references were called. So today, just before I had to run out to take my sons to baseball practice, my neighbor, who was my third reference, um, happened to walk over and knock up to tell me that she spoke to detectives today. Well, this is, this is where it gets a little different. They, um, they actually did a face-to-face -face, um, interview. They went to her house knocked up on her door and actually did the interview face to face they admitted they told her that that is not what they typically do and that almost every single time it's done via a phone call so why now is it different I don't know but Anyway, they asked her uh, a few questions. One, how long has she known me? Um, which is about 17, 18 years. But then she volunteered the information that she has known my wife since she was born. Um, because she just so happened to be best friends with my wife's parents. Anyway, the second question was, if I got a carry permit, how did she feel? She responded to that as saying that she would not mind, she didn't care if I carried. Matter of fact, she preferred that I did so I can protect my quote unquote babies and she references my kids um, but in a joking manner she goes she told the detective that um, she that how did she put it that she, if, if she could she would apply for a carry permit and the detectives told her well then you should if you feel that you need to she said, baby, I'm I'm too old for that. Granted, I, I don't know. She looks pretty good for 70. But, um, whatever. Even if she got one in New Jersey, I think uh, by the time you're 75, you lose your permit anyway. But anyhow, getting on with it. And um, she let them know that because of the recent criminal activity in our area um, and her age took an account that she wouldn't mind one that I carried but two knowing the fact that if she was ever in need of an emergency help knowing that she had a qualified trained neighbor who was armed that could protect her kind of made her feel safe now I don't really know if that's going to matter but she told me that the detectives were very pleased with her answers they had a further conversation about different things um, so it wasn't even a wham bam thank you ma'am kind of thing they stayed around and talked to her for a little bit 
including when the conversation about my kids came up, the one detective actually told her that she had my sons in the uh, Junior Police Academy, which just a little tidbit side note, they both, both of my boys won marksmanship awards during the police academy or junior police academy that they attended so they're very well trained <laughs> um but it seemed that the impression that she got was that they were they were very pleased with her answers and i think she quoted them as saying that uh it was the positive answers they were looking for. Something along that. Pretty close to that. Maybe paraphrasing, but that's the gist. Now, all that said, and in combination of what my other references said, and what my boss said, kind of really leads me to believe that my sheriff, or excuse me, my chief, might actually approve me. But, this is New Jersey, and I have zero inkling if it's a yes or a no. Um, <clears throat> he very well could have all the positive answers he wants. I could have everything... I need to in order I could have jumped through hoops for him and he can still deny me however like I said in probably one of my earlier videos he did in fact tell me that if I could prove to him that my reason is a good one that he would approve me now that is different from other chief of police people that my friends have talked to they've all kind of beat around the bush but said that they have to deny you or they would have to deny them um, on a local level because of some policy that if they were approved and then you somehow go out and do something with that firearm that they would be liable so they're kind of instructed by the superintendent or whatnot to actually deny you and let the let the judge be the final decision which is stupid because no matter if you're approved or denied it still goes to the judge you still have to go to court and the judge is the final say no matter what the chief of police says so what does it matter um, but I guess it's a legality thing so that's the kind of answer I was actually kind of expecting him to say to me but um, in our conversation he did say he would approve me if I can prove prove that I need it so um, with with my reason with the documents that I provided that back up my reason and all of the good positive vibes coming from my my um, references including my job I do have a positive um, outlook it could change I could still be denied but my belief my feeling is that it's a positive one we'll see what happens hopefully um, within a couple days maybe maybe a week I hope they don't beat around a bush um, they, they let me know something today yes today it's not the next day yet um, is the 21st day since the day I dropped it off um, I actually count it today is the 21st day so we'll see I mean they still have up to 45 days but uh, I'm kind of thinking that I still might hear something sooner than that. Um, 
Well, until next time, peace.